Compare the pair. There's our theme song, by the way. Did you get, did you lay that down? Hey, what's happened to the Robinsons? They bought a Jeep. You bought a Jeep? Yeah, I bought a Jeep. We're going to need a bigger boat. What's a nice car like that doing in a place like this? Came in for a sandwich. Mm, no parts. She reckons a dealer's got her covered. Not even a quick tune-up. Says she has a cap price service plan. What about a spare? Reckon she's got roadside assist. Would you show her the sign? Yes. Well, what'd she say? She said, I'm in. Hmm. All right. Don't hold back. I bought a Jeep campaign. V, I'm in. What is the don't hold back? Is that the name of the song? It's the name of the song, but it's also the name of the campaign that they've run for, they, they had run for a very long time. Well, that's a, here's a, go back to exactly what you were talking about in the last one, the, the um, um, not continuous branded assets. What's the term you use? Long term. Long term branded assets. There is not a way in heck anyone who's lived in Australia in the last year hears that song and doesn't immediately think, gee, they own that song now. Even when it's on the radio, they play it on Triple M or one of those every once in a while. As soon as it's on, I'm like, why are you playing the Jeep song? That's not the, a fun song. The Pop Valleys, they owned it. They absolutely that, crushed it with it. So I, I'm going to say, if nothing else, already you've got, but it could have been, but now I'm thinking, okay, what if it's a timing issue? What if it's the fact that because I've seen that commercial a million times and I've only seen the I'm in a few times and give it a couple of years and there's going to be, but really when you look at the I'm in, there's nothing there besides the words I'm in, I didn't hear a song that was, was there a song when she was driving away at the end? Uh, so we don't have, we've, we've lost some of that acoustic coding. The I bought a Jeep is talking about the power of a Jeep and all the crazy things you can do with it. The new ad campaign, the I'm in, is about the durability of a Jeep. The fact that it can last longer and you get free roadside assistance and all these wonderful bonus extras, which is cool. I can see the pivot. I just don't know what the point of the pivot is unless they're losing market share. Look, you've, you've probably nailed it and I'll just give you some context. So this might help. So I bought a Jeep, that entire campaign, Aussie dollar was high, Jeeps were cheap. They, they absolutely crushed it for a long period of time to the point where they got hurt big time with cost of parts. If something broke on a Jeep, it would cost a fortune. They would literally like gouge your eyeballs out. Customer service was horrible. So the user experience of this product was not great post. The reason market came up, they came up with their own campaigns. I bought a Jeep and they were posting them on YouTube, but the Jeep was a lemon and they were very sad about the Jeep they bought. I bought a Jeep. Oh, Ooh, you know, so there was like, so it was like a parody. So the, I bought a Jeep, incredibly powerful, but from a product delivery, you know, there was some question marks about it. So now you can see the pivot. They've built this up and that was a great campaign, you know, from I bought a Jeep, you know, in the canyons yeah. all the way through. It was very, very powerful. So they're trying to pivot now to go to, we've got great customer service. You don't need parts. We've got you covered type of strategy. So it's, it's in, and now we go back to what we were talking about last week about the hero shot. So in the original, I have a Jeep campaign or I bought a Jeep, excuse me, the Jeep is the hero. The Jeep is the thing that's pulling the big boat at the end and you're like, damn, that's a nice car. Now the Jeep isn't the hero. So they're trying to make something that's off camera the hero. The fact that this Jeep comes with good customer service, comes with free roadside assistance, comes with three years of all this stuff. So that's what I felt with the new one was, there's no reason that I need to buy your car. It was never a hero. It didn't make me feel good. It didn't do anything unique. The only thing it did was make me think, man, this woman is playing with danger. If you're not even going to fill up your car and there's 500 to go, 
you've made your driver seem a little stupid. And now I'm going to attach that to your car. And I'm thinking, are, are you really in? Should you be in or should you be smart? So let's take the background off of this story. The idea that maybe Jeep's customer service used to suck. From a pure ad standpoint, then, everything about the I bought a Jeep is good. There's nothing bad about that. You, can, you could recycle that asset again and again and again. And they did. And with that song, it just kept working. And when you got something that works, it's hard to step away. With the new one, they stepped into something else because they had too cool. But there's no pattern. There's no repetition. I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing with it. Why am I into your Jeep versus anything? Your name's not even in your <laughs> slogan. I'm, very, I'm somewhat confused. Look, and I think that right there was the point I was nearly going to get to. You've got, I bought a Jeep. So it looks like they're trying to transition this or start to invest in another long-term branded asset that they can build upon. I'm in. What does it mean? Doesn't mean anything. It's kind of a weird, I'm in. I'm in. For, it needs to make a bit more, so, I don't know. For me, it just confused me. I don't love it. Um, I'm not sure if they'll drop it in the, in the mid near future. I don't know. I bet they do. But they, if you think, I can, you can kind of see where they're going, maybe, and maybe I'm totally wrong, is that you now have ads where, say, a bunch of burly guys are going to go kayaking up in the mountains. And you're like, I'm in. They're like, but you don't have the car for it. We drive tank. We're driving a, a train up a mountain, something that no one would normally drive. And you go, no, no, I got a Jeep. I'm in. So maybe it's I'm going to join you on your escapades because I have a Jeep now. Is that, I'm making this shit up just because it's so I confusing. Like it. Look, me. you've got an angle there. Whenever I look at a tag or something like that, I go to, would, would a child under seven or eight, you know, walk around, say it or sing it or recite it? You know, yeah. is it that catchy? Is that easy to, to learn and recall? Is it something they want to say? Because that for me is a bit of a barometer of something. Can you see a kid going in going, I'm in, I'm in, you know, I bought a Jeep. Um, we're going to need a bigger boat. Like, is there something in that, that, that kids can grab a hold of? Yeah. Um, cause as soon as your kids start saying some advertising messaging, like it's literally infiltrating from inside <laughs> your house out. So maybe um, it's, it goes back to what we, simplicity and clarity are number one, go take all the weapons of influence off the table, take all the memory, all the thinking off the table. Step one is simplicity of message. The fact that I can think of three different angles they could take one, I'm in ergo, we're going to do adventurous thing Two. Their ads are all going to be about very sad mechanics. Why? Because you don't need mechanics anymore. So maybe it's, that's the angle they're going in. Three could be deep adventures on your own with a durable car. Like there are so many different angles it could have taken and will possibly take that I'm just not sure. And then what that means is you missed simplicity and clarity. You, you didn't tell me where you're going, what you're doing. Ergo, you've left way too much to me as the viewer. So I'm just going to have some fun with it. Look, totally agree. I'm very curious to see how this campaign evolves. And there was four ads in this, this ad set, but that was, that was one of them. Yeah. But yeah, it's interesting because they seem to have pivoted trying to address the, you know, maybe the concern they have around about durability, reliability, which is why there's no parts, cap price, you know, ride side assist because there's, there's maybe some disgruntled people out there. But I'd probably suggest if you've got disgruntled buyers in the auto market, they're not going to buy your brand anyway. But Having said that, if you look at the auto market, I think it's less than 50% of people buy the same brand of car they bought last time. So there's, a, there's quite a bit of switching that goes on between car brands as well. So, Is that true? Yeah. I did not know that. Huh. The first one, I bought a Jeep campaign, crushes the I'm in. It's yeah. got all the right elements. It's got all the right mix, including you know the 46K drive away. It's simple. Back to your point, it's not 46, 790. It's just simple, 46K drive away. Whereas the second, the I'm in, it's too complex for me. It's not yeah. simple. It's not something that you can easily recall or anchor the brand to. And the proposition isn't simple. They're just trying to throw too much stuff in it. So if yeah. we're looking compare the pair, for me, it's a no-brainer. It's no-brainer. 